look such a mess right now. I've got the full-on butch lesbian haircut thing going on and I'm wearing MC Hammer sort of jeans because I've lost so much weight so they're so baggy and I've been too lazy to buy another pair. I mean, it's Monday, I'm England and you're watching Project Excellent. I remember of one of my videos, Brian said no one must live where Adam lives and I think he's right, I mean there's, <laughs> there's been a zombie apocalypse that I'm not aware of The topic this week is how our lives have changed since being a part of Project Excellent and I have to say that my life has changed dramatically and it's kind of weird that a video sharing website and some people from across the globe can do that the main distinction now is that, to me, YouTube is no longer a video sharing website and the people on this channel are no longer some people from across the globe, you know? YouTube is sort of like my local pub and the people on the channel are my friends. That's a really, really weird analogy, but it's true. I swear I just heard a cow moo. This is freaking terrifying. I don't like cows. Oh, never in my life have I been in between or being a part of a group that is so accepting I need to move over to the grass because I'm going to sink in this mud. That's the one thing about Project Excellent. Everyone on it is so accepting of anybody. That's how the world should be. And it's ridiculous that it's not like that. Why are people not like they are on Project Excellent? All the viewers, oh my god, cows! Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Such a lovely view. I love my country so much. Basically what I want to say is that the commenters on Project X are so compassionate. They are so accepting. More cows. They are so <laughs> accepting of everything and everyone and the whole community that we're sort of building up around us is that way. And that is the best thing for me. That is how my life has changed. Being a part of Project Excellent has made me so much more self-confident. Like I can just walk around on the streets talking to a camera. I find Brian absolutely hilarious. I think Brian is a wonderful person. And his age, his sexuality, it, does, it doesn't matter. And I'll be honest, before I joined the channel, I was still a bit sort of on the fence about how I felt about homosexuality. Now, I can safely say that I completely support gay rights and everything. I'm not even gay. That's what this channel has done to me. So, thank you for that, Brian, and the rest of you. Kirsten, Kirsten, Kirsten. Oh my gosh, you are a delight. Absolutely brilliant. And it's, she is, you are so funny. And you have made me laugh so many times. And you've made me just appreciate education because you try so hard you got like a what a 4.0 <clears throat> what can i say you're such a massive inspiration to me for that um, and thank you so much. aurora you have made me appreciate music in a way that i have never appreciated it before and i know that sounds like something really small but it's not um because music is a massive thing in my life and you support all these local bands and and stuff and I never appreciated them before. I didn't give a shit to be fair. Um, and and now I can listen to their music and I can appreciate it and I can enjoy it and that's all because of you so thank you very much. Madison I know you're not a part of this channel anymore but you are wonderful. You. You're just so welcoming and open and pleasant and kind and for that I'm just very very thankful. Linda you have shown me that I mean you're just like <laughs> my internet mum. You are brilliant. You have given me such wonderful pearls of wisdom. You have experience that you're not frightened to share with me and 
you felt things that I'm feeling now and you, you've been helping me through that and you're teaching me that age is just a number you don't have to be the same age or similar age to talk to each other you've taught me that it's absolutely f okay to be sad but you've also kicked me up the ass when I've been wrong which I appreciate although don't do, don't do it too often um, <laughs> and you've just explained to me different things I'm feeling in a way that sometimes my own mother, because I speak to my mum a lot, like I'm not even kidding you, I am so close to my mum, but you've, she's been with my dad since she was 14, she hasn't, I'm on about relationships, she hasn't felt some of the things that I'm feeling, she fell in love at 14 and she's still married, so you know, <clears throat> what can I say, you, you're my therapist.